Welcome back, everyone. We are Nerds Rule the World, the NRW, and we are back with a new weekly. I am Heather Hurt. Uh, I do the comic stuff around here. Um, with me today, I have the wonderful Glenn Lawrence. How are you today, sir? I'm great. How are you doing? I'm look good. Oh, I look like you. I'm out of sorts. The holiday definitely did a number on me. You 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 look you look like you're ready to like just get to sit back and relax. Like. I need a I need a nap or something to eat <laughs> or both. <laughs> but I'm happy to be here. <laughs> and uh, and along with us is our fearless leader Kuya P. How are you, sir? I'm good. Labor Day weekend not long enough. I still needed more time, but I'm here. <laughs> now, uh, three days, five days, ten days is never long enough. Never long enough. Never long <laughs> enough. When you put in so much work, which we all do, it's it's you know not enough time, man. Never enough time. Never yeah. enough time. <laughs> <laughs> To, to start us out, let's talk about things that we have. Uh, we, the three of us haven't been in the same digital room in a hot minute. Yes. Uh, let's talk about things that are some good, some good and bad things on the televisions and films that we have seen. Uh, Glenn, what what's the goods, the bads, and the uglies? Mm, the good, the bad, and the uglies. <laughs> what have I been watching? Great you know question. What? I've been very mesmerized by this show called Alone on Netflix. I don't know if you all have watched it or seen it, but basically it's, a person uh, gets shipped off to somewhere remote uh, location in the wilderness in like Canada or something, and they have to survive. They get to pick like one item and they get to survive for however long they can go. And whoever survives the longest uh, basically wins. So it's like one person against like nature. Uh, and there's like bears there. So at any time these people could get mauled by a bear or a mountain lion, Whoa. or they could get like- Oh my, get, lions, tigers, and bears. Uh, yeah, they, yeah, it's, it's a- it's kind of a wild show and it's kind of interesting to just zone out on and just watch it as people are basically, you know, dealing with the wilderness. And it's funny because one dude has like a breakdown for a minute and he's just like, he's like, man, what kind of craziness is this? I'm in the wilderness and y'all are watching it for entertainment. You're not yeah. here. I'm here and y'all are there. <laughs> it's like, oh, yeah, that got real meta. It made me, made me like, all right, maybe I shouldn't watch these people suffer out in the wilderness but it's an interesting show so that is um the good what is what is what what's is, the name of that show alone you you alone. like uh you like the survivor kind of series it's like the I, second I, or third you know, one. just in, just in case the apocalypse comes i want to get some tips you know <laughs> survivalist survivalist is training. Fire. it's survivalist exactly. training yeah it's so it's so awesome how they just build like uh an entire cabin basically just by hand and with the axe they put together a cabin so you know, these people, they go out, they build like a nice little shelter. And then it's funny because a lot of them will have like the skill to survive. Like they build a shelter, a shelter, they're finding food, they're fishing, they're doing whatever. But then they're like, damn, I miss my family. And then they'll tap out because of that. Like, so it's not only just the living off the land, figuring it out. It's also like the emotional thing of like being by yourself all that time. And then thinking about your kids and being like, damn, I got to, I need to get out of here. I don't want to, you know, I thought I could do this, mm. but you know, and, and some of them try to stop thinking about their family so they can make it's just it's kind of an interesting show. I like it. Okay. Uh, so that's oh, good. And then okay. uh, the bad. I don't know if I've watched anything uh, bad recently. I think everything that I've seen is kind of on the up and up. But uh, I'm watching Never Have Ever Have I Ever, which is a oh great really? Thing. I just interviewed one of the cast members of that. Like oh really? Time. Which yeah. one? Was it uh, his name is David Banks in a great interview. We spoke okay. mainly about the act of acting and, and oh. the profession and just yeah, wait, he's been a character that, guy for so long. Did I see that yet? Um, good guy. Say again. Did, I, did you put that out yet? Have I seen that yet? Yeah, it's on the channel. Uh, David Banks, NRW interview uh, last week. Check oh, it out. Last week. Great okay. conversation. Talked a lot about the industry and how long he's been in and playing different characters. A um, lot of pro tips for those young up and coming actors out there. And just surviving in the industry. Great conversation. Great guy. Um, actually, we we melded so much that uh, uh, he's like, man, you come out this way to L.A. You better call me up. We better have dinner or something and hang out because, uh, yeah, we 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 really kicked it. And uh, oh, nice. I, and he'd be down and like have other sidebar convos with us on different things. Really great guy. Great dude. Oh. David Banks. Shout out to David Banks. Shout out, David. <laughs> nice. Sweet. All right, then what about you, Kuyapi? What's uh, what's some goods and some bads from your end? And you know this is a difficult one for me, Heather, because you and I have been doing very much the same. We get a lot of screeners in, and so, you know, we have to screen them. 
But then at the same time, we can't talk about it. So um, I've watched some good and I've watched some bad and some downright <laughs> ugly. <laughs> I won't say what, because I'll say that for when we can talk on it, but that's been interesting. Uh, on a sidebar note, I'll say one of the screeners that I've watched recently, I just got done watching uh, one of them today, uh, the whole series, um, quite captivating based on a true story. Um, really done well, uh, amazing job. I will speak very highly on it when it does drop, not just because, but it really captured my imag imagination. Um, I'll have some cast reviews tied to it soon that I think I'll be recording this week, um, but really great. I don't think I've discussed it with you, Heather or Glenn, but when I can, I'll, off camera, we'll talk on it, but I'll be talking about yeah, it publicly. Yeah. Really well done. And based on a true story, uh, amazing job with that one. Um, but then also, like I said, there's some bad and ugly that I really want to talk about, but I can't. I'm going to uh -oh. save it. Um, uh -oh. But a sidebar note for something I can talk about since, you know, I have to play it cool is uh, I started reading comic books again. Uh, I have been off and on, as you know, uh, with comic books and with you, Heather, as our res resident comic guru. Um, I'm sure you'll be happy with this. Um, I picked up a couple books last week, but I got a reviewer copy from one of our uh, Comic Connects. Um, Everyday Hero Machine Boy. It's a Skybound comet slash image book. I spoke to the creators of that comic book last week um, and read the read the graphic novel in preparation for the interview. Really fun comic book. Um, mm -hmm. I, I think I sent it your way. I think you might be actually doing a review. I think I did send it to you, Heather. So you yeah, you said I, I haven't gotten to it yet, but I will. Yes, I've got it yet. Uh, fun ride. It took me back to just as a young kid and loving like robots and uh, uh, some of the, like, the things in it was just really, you know, took me back. It was really cute and uh, had a fun interview with those, uh, Trive Wong and Irma Canavila that I'll have that interview up this week as well. So the creative team on that spoke with them, great conversation. But yeah, that just, man, it reminded me that I love comic books, which is a funny thing. Y'all know I started in comic books, I'm writing comic <laughs> books, but I haven't really been honestly, to honest to God, reading comic books other than, you know, writing a comic book, if you will. So <gasps> reading that last week, just was like, oh, I want to pick up some stuff. And I actually, which funny thing, I think either earlier that week, I went by the comic book store, picked up the new Predator comic book, uh, print up this book, My Name is Poop, which is like a cute kids graphic novel book, which is very, you know, very cute. Um, and some other books. And I haven't, I haven't torn into them yet, but I plan to. Um, but yeah, I'm, I, I, my, it's, I feel like my love is renewed again for comic books in a way. So it's just finding the time, <laughs> if you will. So a lot of, uh, a lot of good comic uh, suggestions out there and definitely would hype those up as well. There's a lot of great. How about you, Heather? Well, well, to start out, because we're talking comic books, there's a lot of great YA books. There's a lot of great kids books out there. Skybound Image, even though they are for some, they really offer some really, really graphic grown up material. You would be surprised what amazing YA and kids books they have. Oh, yeah. Boom. Um, all of them, they have some really, really adorable content that you can love as, as a three-year-old, a 12-year-old, a 112-year-old. So just enjoy them. Definitely pick them up. Um, for me, I'm also in the same boat. Lots of, lots of screeners, things that you can't talk about <laughs> things I can't talk about that I, some of which I'm not really sure I want to either. <laughs> um, but with that being said, uh, we, we did, um, we started watching today, actually, uh, I'm, I'm y'all know that I'm a big documentary person and I'm getting my, I'm slowly sucking my husband into the documentary world. Um, and we, uh, did y'all ever watch, I think it's called Gadget Man um, with, mm -hmm. what's his name? Richard Ayode, I think is how you say his name. I think He's a awesome. British comedian. Okay. Um, he, was, somewhat familiar. He, he, um, he was like one of the biggest like gadget and tech reviewers like internationally um he's a comedian okay. he's really really funny uh, he started a new series with i believe peacock um with nbc you know one of the one of the many branches um and he started a series called travel man um, my husband is a huge fan of his and so we're watching it's he is doing 20 or 48 hour trips on a budget but like half of the joke is that he's a celebrity and he's bringing on celebrity guests with him. So every time he goes, he's like, he like takes a singer or, or an actor or another comedian who are used to kind of the, a little bit higher standards of life. So like at one point he got like one of those travel cards that you can, you know, you could take a bus or a train or like a ferry. And he's like, this can take me everywhere. Did you know these are available? Like <laughs> silly, silly things like that. So that was really great. 
Um, I, we just started that. Uh, and then we started, we interrupted that with the screener that I actually can't talk about for like a month. And <laughs> I don't know if I want to even bring it up in a month. So, <laughs> um, but, but I, to, to just to tag in, we need to stop with the preconceptions of good or bad. Um, one of the screeners, I will say, uh, something Surprise that you. all of us, Something yeah. that all of us did not have any interest in, and it <laughs> kind of blew my mind. It was so cute. So we need to stop having these judgments ahead of time and start just watching and trying things out because you never know the gems that you're going to find. Mm. I feel you on that. I Good feel to know. That. Good to know. So, so with that being said, I think <laughs> oh. we should just jump right on in, right? Yeah. Let's do it. All right. So um, our picks are going to be kind of fun, kind of silly. It's, it's a short week. So let's get into number one. Uh, yep. I got fired today. <laughs> now I'm out of jobs. I guess I kind of feel like a loser or something. I guess I wish I had a cat. It'd be nice to take care of something. Pink light. It looks cute so far. I'm digging it. Wow. A cat. Or maybe a dog. Somehow you've managed to get hired and fired from every listing we receive. I'm here to take care of you. I can't pay for anything. I would use money, though, if I had a job. Please report to Temp Space for your next assignment. Sign below. Oh, a new hire. Oh. Welcome to Temp Space. You are now a Temp Space agent. My job is to make sure that you have a job. Please try your best if you want to get paid. If you don't, there might be some... I know oh. it was you. Our system's in compromise. Pretending it's just a fairy tale. Lying to children, making them look up to a hero. Was that story you told true? Please love me too. You don't have to tell me anything you don't want to. Oh, there's nothing you could tell me like that would make me change how I feel about you. Because I'm kind of dumb. I love you, puppy cat. Aww. Aww, puppy cat. Deckard. Hey, B, were you just not gonna tell me you got fired? Oh my god! Oh my god, you're cracked! I have ice for it! What the what? <laughs> All right. Oh. So that is B and Puppy Cat. It arrives on Netflix um for, for filming reasons tomorrow, Tuesday, September 6th. Um, but it's uh so so what did y'all think of this adorable um series that sprung between television show and comic book uh i guess i'll go first um interesting i like the adventure time type of um yeah animation uh it's like it's like that but then there's like another filter over top of it too you know what i mean it's like adventure time animation with some other type of glossy ethereal type of glowy filter on top of Shira, it so, very shira-esque meets adventure time yeah it looked it looks cool. I don't know that I would search out for this. You know what I mean? Number one, I'm not a cat person. You know what I'm saying? Like, but he's a puppy cat. He's not a cat. He's a puppy cat. Come on, it's a cat. puppy it's a cat. cat. Let's let's be real. It's a cat. There's no reason. <laughs> the cat gene is this. overpowering the puppiness. Yeah, the cat thing is overpowering. The, the, they tried to put puppy in front to get people like me <laughs> who aren't going to rock with it, and it's not working. I'm not feeling it. That's a cat. It's a cat that grants wishes. I'm not here for it, but it does look cool. If it happened to be on while I was like doing something on like a Saturday or, you know, like, like when I'm just vegging out, good chance I'll, I would keep it on and watch it. Like, what is this? <laughs> but I don't know that I'll be searching out and clicking on it. It, it looked fun though. It does. It looks like it has some fun little tidbits in there and it'll probably surprise me if I did watch it. Okay. What about you? Is it a series or is it a feature? I believe it is a movie. I believe it is it is a, oh. a one long film. The original was a series of I think shorts, um, but I do believe this one is a film. Okay, I think I'm more inclined with it being a film, um, which is weird, uh, or not weird. I don't know. Um, <laughs> it looks it looks because um, I, I I feel like I could then completely digest it with it being a film instead of having to watch 
a long, you know, I don't know how much time commitment I'd be willing to give it. Like right now I have, I'm willing to give it a viewing. And if it's a film, then I'll oh, see it all with that, with that uh, feeling of wanting to check it out. Cause it looks fun. It looks, uh, it also, it looks like I'm going to cry. Uh, <gasps> I'm very emo. I'm an empath, um, but I'm ready for it. Um, I like the, the art style. Um, but then it has, you know, the difference I think with the Steven universe or whatever, you know, uh, brand art style like that you know that we're familiar with it from with those I know it's somewhat comedic and comedy here it seems a very bit more adult and like I said and it's going to make me have that I, I, I'm more willing to make let, let it make me cry if you will then I guess the comedic tone to that uh, I don't know it just it's it it, it got me going it it, it it I like the style the story seems like interesting to me and but I know it's going to bring tears, but I know it's going to be happy tears. Mix it with some sad tears. So so I'm wrong. It looks like it's a television show. OK, but, I'll maybe give it an episode or two. But it's one of those. You know, my three, so two, one it's, it's 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 created by Natasha Allegri, who is the Adventure Time create, who is one of the ah, Adventure Time creators. Ah. Um, but this is an interesting one that I didn't know. This ver this series is produced by uh, F Frederator Studi Studios, which oh, is the same yeah, studio yeah. that did Castlevania. And like Castlevania was a hit. So. Yeah. I'm willing to, I'm, I, I was not an original fan of, of, of Puppy Cat. It took me the comics to get into it. So mm. um, I'm curious how the series, the company that brought us Castlevania will bring us being Puppy Cat. I feel um, that. So. I feel that. Actually, before we go to the next pick, uh, Heather, uh, what it reminded me of, though, uh, because it's pets in that, uh, since last week, since we all last got together, I finally watched DC League of Super Pets. I still haven't and, watched it yet. Uh, I gotta say it was awesome, man. Uh, it has a sweet message to it that I, mm -hmm. I was ready to be just you know it just be an okay film, but I thought it was a quite decent film, not just okay. Really? I, thought was, I thought it was quite good. So Wait, I, I'm, I'm curious your thoughts when y'all see it because y'all are pet owners and we love our pets. So that's why I just wanted to throw that in there. Um, it's okay. a pet owner film. It, it it made me feel some kind of way as a pet owner, and now that I have three dogs in my house. I don't know if y'all knew that as well since last time we talked, but oh, I, I now have three dogs besides Alfred. Uh, we took on uh, two other dogs for a friend that's moving overseas. Mm. So they're now part of our family. So, oh, so it's, it's yours. You're like, you're keeping them. Yeah. Right? Yeah. We have three dogs in the house now, bro. Um, uh, no, work out. They're, they're free uh, workout equipment. Huh? They're Work free workout. Equipment. Oh yeah, they're a workout. All right, they're a workout. All right, but Lily, uh, Lily Santos and Sully Santos, uh, my friend Kermit Santos, they're they're dogs. Um, but now mm. since they're moving overseas, they're part of our family. So Lily and Sully are now part of our family. You'll get a chance to meet them. Um, but the three of them, along with Alfred, whoo, it's work. Okay. That's, that's a household. That's a household. <laughs> the household man. It's already right. work. He was trying to escape and everything. Now you got three. Know, right? Oh man. Yeah. All right. Cool. Yeah. So anyway, recommend DC League of Super Pets. Okay. Right, so, pet I, I need to watch there. it so bad. All right. Um, I'm just going to do a quick shout out for this one because technically there isn't a trailer yet, or at least not that we found. Um, this week, of course, we have Disney Plus Day on November, or not, no, we're in November already, apparently. September 8th. Um, we have a whole bunch of really cool stuff being announced, being released. Uh, DC Disney has already basically said everything that's going to be talked about, but there will be more. Um, one of them, however, is a short called Remembering. Um, it is featuring and I believe directed by Brie, Lar Brie Larson, um, who is our Captain Marvel. Um, so she's, it, I just wanted to shout it out. Unfortunately, there's nothing to show. So uh, check that out. Make sure you're watching all the fun Disney Plus day events um there's lots of fun stuff with amc theaters coming if you're at the parks if you just happen to be at the parks the next couple of weeks make sure you announce if you're a disney plus member lots of fun just shit in general coming your way um and the next one goes along with it this will also be officially released on disney plus day so let's hit that next pick Hey, Mater, want to race? Uh, well, come on. <laughs> Look at you, all charged up to race. But I don't have a chance against... No! <laughs> come on, Lightning! Look, please! <laughs> hey, buddy, just letting you know I'm going to be gone because I'm heading back east to go to my sister's wedding. Wait a minute. You have a sister? Whoa! Boggles the mind, man. It must be ages since you've seen her. What if I go with you? Really? Let's make it a road trip. There's thousands of things to see. Oh, 
<laughs> Just the night. tiniest little taste of death. Oh, dear mother. I'm guessing this is the beginning of something great. You got that right. <laughs> we wander the back road. This is so cool. Make new friends. Hey, where are you guys headed? I gotta rinse off this old baggage. Ah. Whoa, look at you. What about me? Can't mess with perfection. I spy with my little eye. Two clackety kitty cars. Points for pageantry. This is not what I expected. Whoa. All the bumps along the road. That's what makes life worth living. Oh. <laughs> Peter! I got you, buddy! I love these! I don't know. Come on. Look, you picked the last stop. World's largest tire maze. McQueen! Mater! McQueen! Mater! McQueen! Parents streamed on Disney Plus. Interesting. Thoughts, opinions? Can you let's start with you this time? <sighs> cars on the road. Never been a fan of the cars franchise. And as uh, I, I I feel I feel the same. I know you've given me a, some right before we got started. You 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 gave me some positive vibes about it because uh, you did check it out. But we can't officially fully say that what you feel about it yet. But I don't know. I'm still kind of uh, I, I I may check it out because you gave some buzz to me. So I may check out the first episode, but I don't know yet. It's not honestly I, I've never I, the, the characters don't grab me. They really don't. Oh. Mm. That's that's fair. No, that's totally yeah. fair. It's you can't win. We're we're a, we're a Disney. But I do like taking TV, suggestions. So, so like I'll check it out because you suggest. So I'll, I'll I'll give an episode one. I don't know if I can last the three though. I don't know if I can give the three count to it. The good news is is that all of the episodes are less than ten minutes long. Oh really? Oh. Yes, they're short. So it's it's I think it's oh. nine shorts. Um, so they're just they are supposed to be. I'm not saying this as a critic because I can't. <laughs> they are nine small stories um that are supposed to be kind of like those cute little moral of the day kind of stories that's digestible okay yeah, so, i could probably give a three count for it then. All, all in all it's probably about like one movie's worth yeah yeah so um so it's if, if it's if it's time putting in your time and your effort 10 minutes you know 30 minutes in total can you put in one solid television show episode? i think i could put in one solid television show all right, Even though about... the characters don't grab me. <laughs> no, <it's> like, <laughs> we, we support Disney here. And you know what? Sometimes yeah. we can give some negativity. It's okay. Just every once, every once yeah. in a while. I think the mouse likes that. A little honesty, right? Like, you're not <laughs> upset about that, are you, buddy? <laughs> you don't go do against you think, the mouse. Man? You don't go against the mouse. Uh, for me, I think this might be enjoyable because I have a new person. Small new person. human uh, that I'm raising. And I'm looking for newer, you know, like uh, things that he might get into. So anytime something like this comes in, yeah, um, it's new. I'm looking for old cartoons and stuff like that, things that he could uh, really kind of gravitate towards and, and, you know, sink his teeth in and really captivate his attention, really. That's what I really care about. I, I want him to be occupied. So <laughs> this seems like it may occupy him. There's a lot of cars moving around, there's a lot of, you know, bright colors and different voices. So right now he's he's into Wreck It Ralph. Um, okay. So he, he's been watching that before it was Sing, and I, I I would venture to say that it could still be Sing if we <laughs> just kept playing it because he it hasn't gotten old to him or us for that matter, or maybe it did get a little old for us. But this might be something new to throw into our repertoire of uh you know different animated films that he could watch. So it looks cute. Uh, knowing that it's eight. Uh, or I'm sorry, knowing that it's like nine or 10 different episodes that are 10 minutes each, about an hour and a half or something of, of the day. I think that we can we can do it. And it breaks it up so you can go somewhere else if you're not. Yeah, feeling, that uh, that makes it easier for me to swallow. Yeah, mm -hmm. like if it was a whole movie, you'd be like, ah, eh, maybe not. But yeah, it's like, let me just see this 10 minute thing, see if it's worth it. And then you can keep going. So I think because of the kid, I'm gonna check it out. And okay. I will give it a shot because of that. 
Perfect. Perfect. Um, yeah. So uh, speaking of Wreck-It Ralph, real quick, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to dive in. I actually got to go to a classic arcade this past weekend, which is probably one of my favorite things every 80s and 90s and 70s kids. Yeah. Just- Oh, yeah. Absolutely in love. Speaking of Wreck-It Ralph, though, I I used to, I've tried playing Tapper before. That's the guy who pulls the beers and is serving yeah. everyone at the bar in Wreck-It Ralph. I tried to play it again, and I am still just as terrible at that game as I was <laughs> in the 1990s. So, Ooh. good good news. If you were bad then, you're still bad now. Um, <laughs> before you started playing, were you like, I'm gonna wreck it? Oh no, no, no. <laughs> That's I didn't think favorite. about it though. I didn't think about it. So he's like, "Oh, Rick and Ralph's been in this one. I can play." <laughs> yeah, right. No, the kid. He definitely. I feel like that should be his catchphrase because every time he's crawling around, I feel like that's what he says. Where he goes in, he's like, "I want to wreck it," and then he starts smashing. <laughs> oh, you're at that age. You're at yeah. that. Oh no. Okay. But cars. I want to see. I want to see maybe some wreckage. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. In a nice way. Um, but yeah, I want to see. I want to see. I, want to say, I like real cars, you know, the animated cars. I don't know. If I'm... Well, you, you have to step into it. When you're a kid, you have to, you have to step into the animated. So exactly. that you, dad's real cars. I had phased out before cars came along. So Toy Story and all that stuff was when I was still a child. And cars, I feel like, came at the end of my childhood tenure, I think. I was a little bit older where I wasn't ready to jump in. Mm-hmm. I think. I don't know. I could be wrong. No, Car- Cars pretty- was for, for our generation. And I think I'm not not trying to be rude here. I think I'm at the youngest part of this gener of the three of us. Oh, there you and when it comes down to it, How I do. You? flaunt your youthfulness in our face. No, I'm not. <laughs> Glenn, I think when I say that I'm younger, I think I might be one year younger than you. But it's one of those where it's like, I was not a kid when Cars came out. So if I was the youngest, then, you know, like, there's nobody in this room that was gotcha. That was you a know, child. You but know, for for your son, you have to get into cars somehow, and the best way to do that is animation to get you into the real stuff, so that when you get all older, you're all and in then it. You're with Fast Dad. and the Furious, exactly. Oh, all that. F oh, seven, F eight, F nine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to. I mean, as much as I love it, I don't know if I want him to get into it. Oh, you know I mean? yeah. it's, it's, it's generational. It's a family. Yeah. Yeah, but you know what? Dealing with millennials, I don't know if you've run across this yet, Kuya P, but they're mad disrespectful when they're talking about old people because they definitely are talking about us. I'm not talking about you, Heather. I'm just oh saying God. this is why this is why I had a little bit of sensitivity to it because when you're hanging around with like younger people, they're like, oh, oh, that dude was old. He's like 30. And I'm like, screw you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. I'm, always, uh, I'm always aware for some... For some elder abuse or some, you know, age. <laughs> age is just a number. Trust me. Trust me. Age is just a number, people. Hey, age ain't nothing but a number. Are you throwing your hands up? Is that what's going on? Hey. <laughs> no, it's just okay. it's just a warning. It's it's just a warning. Live up your best life because it does not matter how young or old you are. Yeah. Well, you're you're holding on to your youth very well. Um, you know, good job. <laughs> um all right let's let's hit that last that very last pick i think this is one that all of us will like a lot better no controversy well oh, no there's controversy oh you've got to be kidding me yeah this is 476 barbary right yeah i'm renting this place no i booked it a month ago are you sure you have the right place yeah what am i supposed to do why don't you come inside and we'll call these idiots? Why don't you just crash here? Oh, no. I think the three of us did this. I don't know if you've got a great look at this neighborhood, but I don't think you should be out there by yourself. It's dry and there's a lock on the door. By the way, I'm Keith. Tess. You take the bedroom and I'll sleep out here on the couch. Take that picture test. What? Keith? Oh, oh, you're adventurous. (laughs) You're going to check it out? From a producer of it. What are you doing, Tess? 
Oh, Tess, what are you doing? From Anne, executive producer of the show. Oh, really? You're wrong. That much? natural all right that's weird it's at august 31st but it shows that it's yeah out this week. it's not out yet it's not out yet mm, maybe still right. trapped in the basement right there's some <laughs> yeah right so that was barbarian um and uh so thoughts glenn your your first this time why my first thought is why? <laughs> why? You know what I would have been doing if that was my Aaron BB? I would be upstairs just making eggs. Like Keith would be yelling in the basement, and I'd just be like, "Oh, doo, 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 doo. <laughs> I, I I'm guess, not going down in the creepy basement." It's, it's, so there, there's one thing that um, was really funny about this, and um, as 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 a white person, we have a problem <laughs> with going into creepy basements and not listening to our POC friends who are saying, "Nah." Nah, you don't do that. <laughs> so, so when with you saying in, in the with the eggs, I'd be running out. I'd be like, "What's going on?" Like, I, like, I want to check it out. <laughs> Let me. What's happening, <laughs> Keith? Keith, are you there? <laughs> no, no Keith ain't there. <laughs> There's nothing but death there. <laughs> get out of there, Tess. You're, you're, you you're, just like, you're just like it's eggs. I don't care. I'm gonna make some bacon and then I'm get the fuck out. <laughs> I would like do that pause for a minute, like I'm listening. And then I'd be like, oh, I need to put some egg, like water or milk in my eggs or whatever, you know, like, I don't know. But I will say this, uh, just watching the trailer, I was already intrigued and already in that mode of like, ah, what is she doing? Don't do it. You know, so that tells me it's going to be a suspenseful movie that I probably would enjoy. I'm not one for like the horror and stuff like that. And I hope it doesn't get into the whole grindhouse, like uh, torture porn aesthetic, because I hate it. I don't like those movies. Those aren't my uh, favorite. Uh, but if it's like a, a thriller, creepy Blair Witch type of thing, I I feel like that's a good one to gather up the family, watch it on a couch with all the lights off. You know what I mean? And just be scared together. Um, but uh, in, it, like I would have to wait for that moment to do it. But uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Okay. Um, but I, I think I'd, I kind of want to check this out. I do kind of want to, as stupid as I think it was that Tessa is going downstairs checking it out. She wouldn't. She wouldn't. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what about you, Kriya Yeah. I'm excited to see this. Like, uh, oh. I, I want to get with y'all, man. And like, hey, let's go meet up and watch this uh, this weekend, man. Um, I, I was excited to hear about it. You know, I got, I actually could have seen it back during San Diego because there's a whole push for it. Um, but just time wise, it didn't work with my schedule. Um, but just all the hype, all the build up, and just again seeing that trailer is like, would I do that? And it's like it's those questions like from that you get from the trailer and you pose that to your friends, like, would you 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 were you're there, it's a rainy night, would you actually take them up on that offer and, and do that? Mm. You know, uh for me, hell nah. Yeah, nah. So, yeah, you know, wait, time out. Where where would you have tapped out first? Was it, was it where you got the wrong house? Would you have got another Uber? Would you have stayed? Would you have Yeah, I would have got another Uber. I would have left. I wouldn't even walked into the house. Okay. Like, I'm not, I, I don't, no offense to our resident white person on this. Oh, no, 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 no. I, I love that, you. That's, if, that's but, if I was in the house, I'd be the dumbass to go down. That's all. No, I, I'm a woman. I would not walk into a house with a stranger. Yeah, I'm not that dumb. What if he's like cute and you're like, Nah, even if, if Brad Pitt or Idris Elba was at the door, no, I'm sorry, Idris, I can't go in. You oh, no, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm calling it, BS on both of you. Yeah, yeah I was going to say, Idris, Idris Elba, walk, is, he just opens that door. You're going to be like, I don't care. You can cut off my arm. I will walk in the door. Really? Exactly. You'd walk in if it was Idris, other? <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, see? Idris, nah, call bro. me. I, I know you're married, honey. I'm not. I don't need that. Let's just have dinner. <laughs> nah, I couldn't. Dinner I couldn't. and maybe a little dessert. 
but I, I'm, I'm, the dessert. I'm bi, so if your wife's into it, we'll totally do that. I'm I'm just saying. Idris could be butt naked as, along with Paula Patton. I'd still say no. I'm sorry. What? Get out of here. Get <laughs> out of here, Kuya. I'm sorry, brother. I couldn't do it. I had to I, leave. You know what? I'm definitely putting on my white hat in that situation. Be like, hey, let me just <laughs> check it out and see what's going on here. Let me just see what the relationship is between these two, you know? <laughs> Yeah, no, nah, but I want to see this film. It looks cr- awesome. And if any of y'all are free this weekend coming up, I'd love to go check it out with you guys. My husband might totally be be down for that. It's really funny. Um, I was creepy offered me to see the screener that was here in DC. And my husband was like, nah, let's do something else. So we, we were going to do something else. And now like this weekend, the screener would technically be tomorrow from this recording. And he was, he's like, this past weekend, I was like, well, I need to, we need to see this at some point. And he's like, oh, I really, 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 really want to watch it. And I'm like, are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> that would be um, other hello. opportunities. That's there hilarious. But yeah. Um, but, yeah yes. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. No. Mm-hmm. I just said hilarious. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm just hearing things. It's the spookiness from following the trailer. Um, <laughs> Yeah, dude. I don't know. I'm I'm very curious to see what's in that in that little creepy dungeon there or whatever. But in my mind, I'm also like, why are you here? This movie should have ended so long ago because you could have <laughs> you could have should have would have been yeah. like, nah, bro, I'm good. <laughs> the, the the weird thing about it is is like the very first like thirty to forty five seconds of the film, you think that it's going to be like other than the name, you think that it's going to be like some weird romance. You know, these two strangers and yeah, a it's a weird name still that I'm trying it to understand. Could be. You never know. Yeah. But then trauma bonds people. That's unfortunately true. Um, but you know what I didn't notice the first time we watched this? The first time we saw this in, the, in our trailer react, which is still on the channel, go watch it if you haven't. Um, was I said that it was very similar to like the what would happen at like the beginning of like a Stepford Wives prequel mm-hmm. kind of thing, especially with that ending. Um, but what I did notice before was the baby. There's a snapshot of a baby in the trailer. And then at the end in the recording, someone says this is a very natural thing. And I'm like, oh, shit, they're going to force this poor woman to have a child. And I don't know if I could go through that kind of trauma. Oh, wow. Whoa, that I would... did not notice that last time. That would be fucked up. That would be so fucked up. What? Yeah, yeah, rape stuff, force stuff like that. Uh, nah. Yeah. <laughs> uh. it, you know what? It reminds me of uh, what was that one movie? Um, the one where the guy is uh, blind in the house. Oh, see? No, 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 no. That's the that's the series in the house. It's a. It, they had two movies. Yeah, I know um, what you're talking about. But the the guy that was in Avatar. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Steven something or other. Something, but it was kind of like see where they can't see or whatever. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But it's like it's it, you know they go in there and and so it's it it's giving me those type of vibes. And if you remember the the whole plot of that story involves some very interesting birthing uh, practices. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Speaking of interesting birthing things, uh, hey Netflix, get at us about doing those those screeners for Blonde. Let's talk about that rape scene oh, yeah. so that we can get that information all cleared up for our audiences. Um, sorry, tagging that in while we're talking about terrible <laughs> things. Yeah. Uh, that also reminds me. I since th- th- our last discussion, I ho- speaking of horror films, I watched mm-hmm. Black Phone because it's now available yeah. on Peacock. Have y'all seen Black Phone now? Not finally, yet, yeah. yeah. The movie was fucked up. <laughs> It was fucked up, but it was not, it was okay. I, it's not as great as I thought it was going to be. The storyline is fucked up. Like that's, yeah. the, the movie is one of those where it's like, okay, I could, I could have taken this, but what the fuck is happening? Yeah. Anyway, I don't want to spoil it, but uh, speaking of films coming available now, uh, Black Phone is available on Peacock. I think I saw it on and Jurassic World Dominion is available now streaming. Um, a lot of movies aren't streaming now. The good no, guys I, or the bad guys, that animated film. Yeah. Um, got Thor coming out this week if you weren't able to see yes. it in theaters. Yeah. So a lot of films that I didn't expect to see already are, are available on streaming now. So maybe that's the for a reason because they were kind of just okay. Nice. That's all right. If you don't like any of those, you can also go watch Lord of the Rings. Episode three is out this week. Um <laughs> Rings of Power was phenomenal. Uh, we'll talk about that later. All right. 
Uh, any final thoughts? Uh, the picks this week were being Puppy Cat as number, uh, number three. Number two was Cars on the Road, along with the little sidebar of Remembering. And then Barbarian as number one. Any final film thoughts for the week? Um, um, good picks. Um, interesting picks. Yeah. Um, Barbarian is something I definitely want to check out. Um, Cars on the Road, you already know my feelings on Cars. Remembering, I definitely want to check out. I'm a huge fan of Brie Larson. And being puppy cat wouldn't be a normal pick, but it has me intrigued. So I'd give that a check out. Your kiddo mm. might like it. Your kiddo might like it. Yeah, I think she might dig that. Ah, uh, I'm very intrigued by all the picks. Um, I don't think I'll be seeing uh, the the cars, or I'm sorry, I, I will be seeing the cars thing. So that's a good. Um, the puppy cat thing, mm, I don't know. Maybe, maybe hit or miss. And then barbarian. Ah, I'm so annoyed that I'm intrigued by it. So I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give these picks, Heather, a B. <laughs> That's fair. To be fair, there was there was C picks. So I'm glad that I yeah. get out of it. <laughs> I was leaning towards B minus, and then I just thought of your youthful young face, and I was like, she can't take this hurt of getting a B minus. So I'm up it to a B. <laughs> So, so Glenn just called me old. Anyway. I, said youthful. I said youthful. I said your youthfulness could not take it. But then you said I, you then you said I couldn't handle it. So, yeah. or, or, or no, you're saying that millennials can't handle. I'm it. saying the youth. Yes, you might be. You might be a little bit upset that you got a B minus versus a B. So I just gave you the B. I thought you deserved it. Uh, you did bring some things to the forefront. You're going to actually get me to test my horizons. Test okay. my, my, uh, my, uh, what's it called? My end limit, you know? So yeah, B, solid B. Okay. I'll take, I, I'll, t I'll take it. I'll even take the B minus. I'm okay with that. I, I, honesty <laughs> is a virtue, my friends. Honesty is a virtue. Yeah. yeah. All right. Oh, you pee. What's that? Oh, sorry. <laughs> I said, could you pee? What are you, what are you thinking? Sorry. Oh, no, you're good. You're good. Oh, I thought it was like, yeah, I already kind of gave my thoughts. I didn't give a grade value, but. Okay. What's my grade? What's, what's my solid grade? I want to know. Uh, a solid B. Okay. A solid B. All right, I'll take I'll take a three zero out of four. That's fine. I'm good with that. Um, you know what? If, if D's get degrees, B B's are always better. So let. <laughs> There's your lesson, kids. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that is the end of our update for the week. We are Kuya P, Glenn Lawrence, and Heather Hurt. Let's talk about how you can find us elsewhere. Glenn, what, where can they find you and what are you doing? So this weekend, you could check me out. I will be at the DC Shorts Film Festival, and I will be moderating the short films uh, on Friday night and Saturday night, uh, which just basically means I'll have a microphone and I'll be introducing some uh, different uh, people who have made short films. Uh, so there's that. But if you want to follow me online digitally, you could do it through levelupcomedy.com. Also, Facebook and IG, Glenn Lawrence Comedy, and Twitter, Glenn Levels Up. <laughs> and Kuya P. Uh, you can follow me at The Legend Kuya P on Twitter, TikTok, and IG. Of course, my show, Pal Show, where I will give you 100. I know I've I'm a month and a half back, probably two months now. Um, I, and I have the next 10, 15 episodes recorded, but it's just getting this 100 has been difficult, but I will get it out there, y'all. Um, so expect that. Uh, AAPI Toy Heroes is coming as well. Uh, along, I got so much stuff to edit, y'all. I've been busy. Uh, a ton of interviews dropping this week, uh, but of course, always here with Glenn and Heather at the NRW Nat Release Wednesday. Woo! And I am Heather Hurt. <laughs> I am Heather Hurt. You can find me on Twitter at Nerd is a Heather and on Instagram and TikTok at Heather is a Nerd. I'm not as cool as these two, so I never get. Whatever. <laughs> Stop um, it. You can find all of us on uh, uh, New Release Wednesday's socials everywhere. Uh, new re at New Release Wednesday, because comics still have that one on Instagram. And uh, at the NRW on Twitter and Facebook. Thank you guys, and you'll have a fantastic week. Deuces!